you're in any doubt that the Middle East will produce a future motorsport star, then Edward Jones is determined to prove you wrong. At just 16, the UAE-born racer already has several championship victories behind him as he's risen through the ranks of national karting. I competed in the cadet class for three years. Fortunately, won those three years. Um, won a two junior max seasons. And this year, I've just competed in the senior max season. Of course, karting is where most youngsters new to motorsport cut their teeth, and Jones was no different. When I was five, my dad first took me to the Jebel Ali kart, karting track. I had to go in the rental car. It's just a taster, you know, just to see what it's like. So he didn't want to force me into it, but one wanted me to see what it's like and hopefully, in his eyes, maybe make me go for it as well. So after that, um, he bought me a car when I was about six. From there on, the victories started coming. But now Edward is looking at the next rung of the career ladder and he's moving away from karting into single-seater racing. This summer he'll be in Europe competing in the Formula BMW and then in the autumn he'll be back racing in the new Formula Golf Series. It's a shame actually, um, I really enjoyed karting and I still enjoy going down to the track and it, it coming to an end isn't, people think it's going to be such more of a thrill racing the cars but I think I enjoy karting just as much, you know it's a lot closer, everyone's racing wheel to wheel. Um, you can touch in the carts as well, which in the cars isn't such a good idea, but... There's no doubt that this is a transition between two very different race vehicles, but Edward seems capable of adapting to almost anything he steps into. Yeah, the transition... At first it was quite um, difficult to get used to it, but it's just from the car and you get the feel of the control and I think it hasn't taken me too long. I wasn't sure how I was going to cope with the gear changes and I wasn't, didn't expect it but it was actually a lot, um, came a lot more natural than I, than I thought. But this natural talent is also the result of hours of dedicated practice which has obviously had an effect on the 16 year old's social life. What it takes to be a racing driver, you miss out a lot of on the social life just missing but overall I think I'm happy with the choice at the moment and I want to pursue this career and hopefully make it successful. My friends don't really realise to the full extent of what I'm actually doing. I think when they see it they'll be amazed at what it, it actually is happening. So with pre-season testing and the FG 1000s now over, Edward is preparing for the rest of the year to be extremely busy but he's also remaining level-headed about the time frame of his racing career. It takes time, you know, I'm still, I've just turned 16. I've got time, fortunately. Um, it'll be, I finish this year in BMW and obviously Formula Golf start in, at the end of the year. And then maybe move into Formula Renault UK or Euro. But in motorsport, it does depend on their funding, you know. The biggest, that's one of the biggest challenges. And of course, for any single-seater racer, there's only one goal. The aim is to obviously get to F1 one day. For me, I want to be there now straight away. It's all about experience now, just learning all I can do. Take it all in and make myself more successful.